Hey there, electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host, an electrical engineer with more than 13 years of experience, and today we're diving into a common issue that can zap the power out of your home, literally. We're talking about how overloading can lead to those pesky low voltage problems that can put a damper on your daily life. So, grab your notepads, and let's get charged up with knowledge. All right, folks, picture this, you're at home, trying to watch your favorite show, maybe do some online gaming, and suddenly, your lights flicker, your devices start acting wonky, and everything just seems sluggish. What's up with that? Well, chances are you might be dealing with low voltage issues caused by overloading. So, here's the deal, our homes run on electricity like a well-choreographed dance. The electrical system is designed to handle a certain amount of power at once. But when we start plugging in more and more devices, think TVs, laptops, phone chargers, kitchen appliances, without a second thought, we're putting a serious strain on the system. This all comes down to our trusty electrical panel, the hub that distributes power throughout our home. Every home has a specific maximum capacity it can handle, which is determined by the size of your electrical service and wiring. Now, imagine if you were throwing a massive party and way too many people crowded into your living room, things would start getting uncomfortable, right? Well, it's the same idea here. When we overload our electrical circuits, the wires get hot. Really hot. Just like how you might start feeling warm and flustered in a packed room. This excess heat is a big red flag. It's a sign that the electrical system is working harder than it should, and that's when the voltage starts to drop. It's like the lights dimming at a concert when everyone's using their phones. Now, low voltage is no fun for our gadgets and appliances. They're designed to operate within a certain voltage range, and when that range is compromised, they might start acting up dim lights, slower devices, and even potential damage over time. And let's be real, none of us want a melted phone charger or a fried TV, right? So, what can we do to avoid this voltage valley? First things first, know your home's limits. Check your electrical panel's capacity and be mindful of how much power you're drawing at once. Spread out your devices across different outlets and circuits, kind of like evenly distributing the weight on a seesaw. And hey, if you find yourself constantly battling low voltage, it might be time to call in a licensed electrician to assess and possibly upgrade your system. And there you have it, electricity enthusiasts, the scoop on how overloading can lead to those pesky low voltage problems. Remember, our homes might be magical, but they're not immune to the laws of physics. So, let's keep the energy flowing smoothly and keep those voltage dips at bay. Thanks for tuning in to another electrifying episode of Electricity Frenzy. If you found this video illuminating, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more enlightening content. Until next time, stay charged and stay curious.